Hello, my dear friends of electronics. I will show you in this video today a nice experiment about the inrush current peak test on multilayer chip bead ferrites. Uh, because you don't, you know, this doesn't exist a standard on this method. We develop a worldwide first time a standard and also machinery. This machinery, like you can see here, is a own build power supply, which is capable to make a 100 amp pulse. It's command from a small generator. This generator makes an 8 millisecond pulse width and it will repeat every second to have here a destroy uh, function. And then we have here something like a scope and this scope is capable to monitor the output current. So first of all, I will take a chip bit ferrite, which is a standard version of the multilayer chip bit ferrite, which is not specified for pulse. And I will choose in the same size 0805, also the uh, same impedance 600 ohm and also uh, a, a multilayer chip bit ferrite which is specified for this pulse. Like you can see in this graph, both have the same impedance. On the end of the impedance curve you see some oscillation. It is because we will measure this completely including this PCB. So this is come the oscillation of the PCB. Don't consider that. So first of all, I will introduce in this test method the non-standard, okay, it's a standard, but it's a non-pulse uh, test device. And I will use not a computer to handle this pulse. I will use a manual mode, so I will switch on the manual mode and I will start to increase the current slowly and see what will happen to this chip bit ferrite. So right now I am somewhere by 6 amp, 10 amps, 16 amps, 20 amps, 23, 25. So at 25 amp, did you see the spark? It's nice, right? It's blowing away. So this, uh, this uh, device, it can withstand few pulls under 20, 25 amp. Disconnected, okay, check. Safety first. And now you can see this ferrite bead, how it is destroyed. Now I will take a multilayer power suppression bead, which is specified for pulse test, same size. Power on, and I will start now again to increase step by step slowly the current. 6 amp, 12 amp, 15 amp, 20 amp, 24, 30, 33, 35, 38, 40, 40 amp. So you can see at 40 amp it's blowing also away. The other one is with, 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 it was between 20, 25, now it's 40 amps. So you can see also the multilayer chip bit fry, which is power suppressing for, for uh, pulse, has also limit. Please consider that in your design. But it's much more stronger withstand like the standard one. So let me see what is the end of this. Switch off. It's blowing away same, but much higher current. I hope you know now that this uh, difference of the multilayer power suppression bead is much more specified for inrush current. And also you have to take care when you have a capacitor and input on your device and you have a power supply like a auto battery or something like that, that you cannot handle with a standard ferrite bead. A wired product is different like a multilayer product. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, the conclusion is in this case, this kind of multilayer power suppression bead or uh, excellent filter for DC-DC input filter or electrical engines, or motors to, to filter that because have nearly the double withstand of the inrush current in accordance to the standard bits. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.